For this final section in the introduction series, we're going to concentrate on layers. Layers prior were set up similar to the way they are now, but some things have changed, particularly how to nest things within a parent-child relationship. So layers are something that we use inside of production that makes us uh, able to optimize things, whether it's within the actual development, or maybe it's actually at runtime in the game with streaming. We won't be covering streaming in this video, but it's something that is an addition to the basic layer concept that you'll definitely want to check out. So within layers, we have right here three. Three simple layers of 1, 2, and 2.2. So the idea behind this is that we have a child of this layer. And then all of these are on different layers. And you can tell what layer they're in by selecting an object, going to the properties, and looking. And you can see that this is in layer 1. You can open it and browse it, and you can swap it around. It's actually the same exact thing that's over here. It's just a box that pops up to be able to switch. We'll click OK. It's fine. It can stay where it is. Next, we want to check out over here, where it shows freezing and visibility. So what we have right here on the layer 1, which is what is selected, we have the ability to make it invisible. Or maybe we don't even want to make it selectable. So now I have no way to choose it. And that's just based on this concept of toggling. Let's go back and we can make it a selectable again. And this is just a way that maybe you have a clutter of a lot of objects in your scene. And you want to make it where you aren't selecting the wrong one every single time. The next thing is kind of different. And it has to do with the parent-child relationship of layers. Previously, before, you could just control drag your layer over and that's how you nested it within a parent. It's not that way anymore because we actually have folders. We can see one folder here in the 01 underscore 08 setup. Let's go ahead and add another folder. So we'll call this one 01 underscore 08 setup child. We can drag that down into this folder and then we can actually take these layers and we can drag them into that folder. So now we have a folder within a folder for a proper organization. And I must say this is a lot cleaner than it was before with the control clicking. The next thing that I want to cover is actually something called importing and exporting. So let's go ahead and delete one of these. We have the first layer right here. Let's go in and we want to open the containing fo folder because layers are actually saved separately. So we have layer 1 right here, 0108. And if I go in here and I delete this, are you sure you want to delete the layer? For the sake of instruction, yes. So now I can go in and I can import a layer. If we remember where our layer is, we pop it up. We have layers within our con content example within our assets in our level. So we need to go to the same path. We have system C, Crytek launcher. Crytek. We can go back, game SDK, game SDK assets. And then we want to go to levels, content example, intro content example. It will say layers. So let's just go in. And then right here we have multiple layers. They're all split out. We can probably just go into the first one, 0108. So we want to go to layers, 0108, layer 1. And let's import it. And you can see that now we've brought in the layer, even though we deleted it. It's the same concept if you pass that on to someone else. It's a little tricky to find it there because I had so many things within the content examples. But you can imagine how valuable this is to maybe a teammate and you're just passing off the layers with things that you already possess. Because many, many instances will use the same type of geometry. And that guy, you don't have to pass the textures or any of the geometry over to him. You just pass him the layer.